Hey, welcome back to the blog. I'm just finishing off this hybrid mimic panel and I thought I'd show you a couple of features I alluded to a couple of weeks ago. This is a hybrid panel because it will use our LEDs and push buttons to do the main layout control, but it will also have uh, embedded toggle switches for um, the customer's own wiring. Now this particular layout is an analog layout, so he's wanting to switch uh, between controllers, so A, B, switch. These aren't the final switches because they'll also have a, a center off when we get them, but I'm just test fitting them to see how they, uh, how they work. Now on this panel, uh, because the customer was able to provide a clear diagram in the beginning, we managed to achieve a very good likeness to the, to the final artwork. So if I show you here, this is the customer's original drawing before we modified it several times. And this is the finished result. And I hope you'll agree, it's, um, it's a very good likeness. Um, so I'm just at the phase of testing. I'll let you have a look close up and see what you think. It's quite a nice panel. Uh, it's these switches, you see they're uh, recessed so there's no ugly lock nut. And that's all managed by the, um, the switch harnesses that we install behind. Yes, it is a lot of extra effort, but I think the results are worth it. Let's remove that. So this is the MDF backing and you can see all the holes, the square holes are where our push buttons would go and the round holes are for the, um, for the LEDs. Now what's different about this panel is these, aren't, these buttons aren't operating directly to a multi-panel switching individual points. They're connected to a router. So when the customer presses a button for uh, a particular road, it will, uh, it will set the entire route for that road. So when the customer presses this button, it'll set a route into road four and it'll set all these points appropriately. And what that's allowed us to do is because we haven't got lots of buttons here, we've been able to condense more and more and make a tighter, more controlled panel for the customer. But anyway, I'm uh, just test fitting the switches. Now what we do, uh, we have these switch harnesses. Here's one here, this will hold three switches and it's marked with the corresponding marking here, S4, so it'll go perfectly on. So what I need to do is I'm just working out what's going where. Where's my original diagram with the artwork? Here's one of the artworks we produced for the customer to approve. So I'm just trying to work out backwards where we are. And here we are on these three, cab, isolator, Isolator and on here it's cab isolator isolator. So we are sideways, sideways, and vertical. The cab will use the um, double pole, double throw switch. So what I do on on the um, the switch harness is there's a little hole at top, and I can put the washer in to that hole. And that should locate it correctly. If you don't have the hole, put the washer on the other way round and then you're free to rotate it. I can just nip that in. It is, as I mentioned before, <clears throat> it's a ton of extra effort, but I think the results are worth it. Yes, and the bottom one goes the same orientation. I think the customers, I've sent him a picture of this uh, whilst it was being painted before it was complete and I suspect he's rather excited. Forgive my voice, <clears throat> I've got one of those recurring colds that just won't go and it's killing me, but hey ho, it is what it is. For the isolator, that's just, I'm just going to use a single pole, single throw or single pole double throw in this case. The, as I mentioned before, <clears throat> these are not the actual switches that will go onto the installation. Um, still waiting for them to arrive. If I can get these on. 
we can both have an appreciation for how this panel will look. There's no enclosure with this panel, customers doing their own. I think they're fitting it. I was given very specific dimensions to make it. And of course, when I saw it, my initial um, response was no chance. And then I realized, ah, he's using a router. So we can do away with lots of buttons. And the advantage of the router is you, can, you don't need all the buttons to program the individual points, except, sorry, you don't need all of the buttons to operate the layout, but you do need them uh, for initial programming. These screws will fit uh, just perfectly. There's no slop in any of this. There's no negotiating how it fits. It will just be a perfect installation, or I've done something wrong. Now I'm not going to tighten this up too tight because I want the customer to do that when they do a final installation. I'm just going to nip it to hold it while we confirm everything fits. The reason I'm going to this trouble is because making all of these switch plates can be quite a time consuming, tedious and sometimes difficult process. Uh, you don't actually know you've got it right until, until you try it. Um, there's a couple of points, there's one here where I had to make a, a gap for the LED as well. So, just the lightest of nips. And there's two more switches installed. I think I can put some of these in without taking the plates off. So we've got a cab switch, hang on, whoops, cab switch, then isolator, an isolator. I'm just sorting through all the bits. Isolators up and down. Through. I think I can get this on. Washer. With a tab on it. Actually, that tab's not bent. Try again with a different one. No, those switches don't want to go. Plan B. The tabs on those switches look odd. So I'm going to change to the ones I use in the um, toggle panel. Okay. That was up, down, in there. There we go. We want the tab. Wouldn't be very funny if it didn't fit. <laughs> After the hours I've sunk into this. There we go. I knew it was going to fit all along. I think I started this about three or four weeks ago. And it did take quite a while to get the final approval from the customer. As we're going along and there's a few few tweaks we want to make along the way. That's not going in. If I'm making this look hard, yeah, I am. There we go. Nip it up. Good. Good job, this is a one-off. Uh, what are we doing now? Uh, we've got one here which is vertical, that's for a point as well. So I'm doing it here, not in the workshop, so half the things I want aren't, aren't in this room. We are about to receive 
the mother load of blank PCBs. So it's going to be wall to wall PCB manufacture for the next few weeks. On this batch there's 800 boards and there's a second batch behind that. Uh, we've ended up running out of a few things uh, due to demand and the the Chinese New Year. We always seem to order the wrong side of that and boards get half built. Nip. Next one is a cab switch down here, so that's double pull, double throw. In we go. When I make um, a hybrid panel, I prefer to supply the toggle switches as well, then I know there's going to be no issues about the switch fitting because I take my measurements from these so I know, know what size I'm building for. I don't think I've got that on right. There we go. Nope. I know it would be easy to remove the backing but Either I'm being lazy or trying a bit of false economy. Good. Isolator at the top and a cab to the right. So cab switch here, which is this guy. Now there's no hole in there for the tab washer. So I'll put it in back to front. That means we can freely spin it. I think after I've tested it, I've got to pull these switches out. But I'm curious to see how good it looks as well. I know it'll look good, because they always do, but I think it's worth the pain of going through just to absolutely check it. Of course, the nut's gone in there. Really? Is it slightly cross threaded? go. Easy when you know how. Oh. Easy when you use the right end. I don't need the whole screwdriver because it's just getting finger tight. Next one is isolator, so that'll be one of these. Yes, it just fits. So I've worked it out. Let's straighten this one up. And that one will just fit in there. Getting a bit tight.
probably have this done in a couple of hours. Okay, what have we got on this side? There's one here, cab switch. I think I'm going to be one cab switch too short for testing, so we'll stick a different one in. I'm choosing to leave the camera wide, so at least I keep everything in shot. So I'm pretty good at doing stuff off camera, <laughs> thinking you could see it. Instead, it's just two pixels wide now. Note to self next time, fit switches before switching switch plates, switch mount. are going vertical, vertical and horizontal. That's the last cab one. I made the <clears throat> the direction of operation, i.e. horizontal, vertical, as per the customer's specification. So they told me exactly how they wanted it to work and through a lot of toing and froing, I think we've got there. I hope we've got there. Quite a lot of trouble to go to for a test fit, but once I've done this, then I'll sleep at night knowing it's right. And if the customer rings me with an issue, I can uh, speak with confidence because I've actually tested it myself. Plus the fact I'm filming this on a Thursday, and I try to keep Thursdays for repairs and odd things, so the timing is great. This is all because I don't like the locking nut and spring washer sticking out looking ugly. It's my pet hate. And I hope you'll agree the results are worth it, but designing around one of these switches on a hybrid panel is very time consuming. So if you ring me up for a quote, don't be alarmed. You can see how much additional effort is now required to get it right. Last week when I left the camera and I left it filming for over an hour in a continuous run and the battery died and the video file became corrupt so I couldn't use it. My voice hadn't gone at that point so it was I it was quite a decent video. A bit like the fish that got away. <laughs> there we go. 
Right, now for the moment of truth. Ah, nope, two more to go. Blimey, getting ahead of myself. Wishful thinking, they are cab, cab, isolator, isolator. So isolators go vertical. So, tap washer upside down for that one. Don't know what's going on outside, it's roasting today. To think I was in the garage two weeks ago with a laser and it was zero degrees. I was dithering. I was genuinely thinking to myself, what am I doing out here? And all my wife would say is, because you love it, now get out. <laughs> so any panels in the system now are going to be on pause. Well, we go through all these... Um, circuits, all the PCBs to get them finished. See with the tab in it just holds the switch in. It's a good fit. You know what's missing from this video? I've not been asked if I want a cup of tea yet. I'm just wondering if I'm brave enough to complain. So the management would sort me out. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Because I'm fitting this onto that, I want everything up or left. Left, left, up, 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 left, up, left, up. And we'll see if we can get this on. Let's see how it looks. Go. Wow. I think that looks pretty smart. Tell me what you think. Isolators. Beautiful. Isolator. So the cab we can switch between the left and the right controller for this section of track and you can see where it's broken here. Clearly drawn out with the colour scheme. We were one button too short on the router, so I think the customer's just added a toggle switch here, I'm not sure. I don't remember why he asked for that switch, but it's in anyway. So there we go. Right, I'm going to take those switches out and prepare that for shipping. So, there's the artwork that we produced for the customer to approve. There's the final panel and it closely matches what the customer requested. There's the customer's original artwork. Dimensions 449 by 226 millimeters. Not a standard size. I think it's a beautiful looking panel. We've even got a little semaphore here and a, there's gonna be a red green light for it there and it's just gonna repeat what's on the layout. It's a very nice panel. I hope, uh, hope the customer appreciates it. I'm sure he will. I sure can't wait to get his hands on it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, we'll find, find some more interesting subjects to, to film over the next few days. Cheers.